Hey everyone, happy to be here again on uh, this YouTube channel. I haven't done a lot of videos uh, uh, following the one that I've recorded for my Harley Quinn's army, but here's the time that uh, I think uh, it's due for an update and I have painted so many models and um, so many different units uh, that I think uh, you would be uh, interested in seeing these uh, in this video. I'll try to segment it in uh, in a few different chapters uh, with uh, the characters, uh, the uh, vehicles, and the rest of the troops. Um, and so, um, just to make it easier for you to uh, to view it and uh, eventually uh, select the part that you're most interested in. I won't go back into the details and how I paint the Harlequins. This is uh, uh, explained in my first video where I do um, I do explain it uh, extensively. Um, obviously, if you have any questions, please uh, do it uh, in the comment section. I will be very happy to help you uh, understand how I do things, how I paint uh, the Harlequins, and uh, if I can be of any help to you for uh, painting and collecting and assembling your uh, army, I would be ha very happy to do so. So, in the last video, I was uh, presenting you the very small detachment of Harlequins that I had, uh, and this is uh, the evolution of it. Uh, it has become a fully fledged army, and I'm very um, eager uh, to play with. Um, and um, let's begin with the characters. So here are the uh, the characters for the army. Uh, you might already know two of them: um, the Psyker and the uh, Tripmaster that I presented in the last video. Just to go quickly uh, presenting them, um, this is the Psyker, the Shadow Seer. Um, very cool model, very cool uh, pose and uh, and paint job that I made for her. Uh, lots of diamond patterns, which is a theme of the army, obviously. And every troop player, every um, every uh, warrior uh, of the of the army will have uh, some kind of diamond pattern on him. So this is no exception, obviously. Uh, this is the troop master, the war leader of my army. Um, he is painted with uh, the same um, the same look and built with a. It's a kid bash with the Jane Czar uh, model uh, for the Craft World Army. Um, gives him a real, a really uh, you know regal look to to him, and uh, I really like it. I repainted the, the cloak because I didn't like how it looked before. But yep, here he is. Um, really like him. Really, really like him. One of my favorite models for the army. Um, and I'm really glad that I achieved um, such a, a brilliant paint job uh, for him. So, yep, this is the my warlord. Um, I teased the, um, the 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 death jester in the last video. Uh, so here he is with uh, his very uh, long cannon. Um, some uh, some diamond pattern as well as well on the, his uh, flowing cape, uh, lots of colors as well. But I kept him um, uh, really dark because he is supposed to play the role of of death in the in the grand scheme of things. So I wanted to keep a kind of gloomy atmosphere to him. Kind of a weird model as well, harder to assemble than I anticipated, but. Here he is. Very cool. And the last one is kind of an oddball. I painted him for a uh, sort of uh, tournament uh, and uh, for on, on Instagram. It was organized. It was hosted by uh, a cool painter that is uh, white out miniatures. Uh, and um, the whole uh, theme of the of this uh, this contest was painting. Uh, a model and imagining uh, some kind of story behind it and so I painted something for my Harlequins and it's supposed to be uh, an Incubi, uh, a Dark Eldar Incubi that is uh, 
uh, now allied to uh, the Harlequins and that heard uh, Kegarak call. So I play him as a troop master, but uh, so here he is. It's a uh, kind of uh, yeah, kid bash. It's lots of kids um, thrown inside uh, in, inside this project. It's uh, you know horns from the incubi set, um, some kind of decorative element as well from the incubi. Um, the sword is from the incubi set. Um, all the chains are from regular uh, dark Eldar kits. Uh, the rest is um, a troopmaster cloak. This is uh, uh, dark Eldar legs from the scourges uh, set. This is a regular uh, gun uh, that I have converted with uh, more blades and uh, uh, a mask with the uh, death mask from the, the regular uh, kit. So it's a bit of uh, everything in it. And uh, he's supposed to be uh, an NQB uh, that has joined my mask and my Harlequin's army. And yeah, kind of uh, kept uh, distinctive elements uh, of uh, his previous shrine, but... Uh, Adopted also the ways of the Harlequins. So here him, here he is. And that's it for the characters. Uh, I might do uh, more of them, um, more um, a, a second shadow seer might be uh, might be uh, useful, and uh, perhaps a solitaire, uh, but. Uh, I'll have to, to imagine uh, more ways to customize them. Let's go to uh, the vehicles. So, here are all the vehicles and, uh, and flyers and skimmers of the army. As you can see, I have uh, painted uh, a lot of them. Um, it's uh, kind of a nice evolution from the previous video where I had only one Star Weaver and uh, two uh, Sky Weavers. This is now uh, completely, uh, completely done. Um, three Star Weavers and uh, two uh, units of Sky Weavers, uh, five of them. Um, uh, I might uh, do some more, uh, especially more Star Weavers because you always need uh, more ways to transport uh, your models and your, your warriors on the, on the battlefield. And um, as much as I would like to have a third unit of uh, Skyweavers, these guys uh, take a long time to paint and uh, I'll have to be uh, extra uh, motivated to paint a third unit because Quite frankly, it was uh, a real, uh, uh, yeah, it was really hard to to, to paint uh, such uh, such a large number of them. But anyway, very proud of what I've achieved, and very, uh, yeah, very proud to to see them uh, all uh, all painted at once. So in terms of transport, so yeah, it's three uh, star weavers. Um, this is uh, the kind of standard that uh, I have applied to uh, paint all of them um, with uh, a nice uh, diamond pattern on uh, on them on them and uh, on the crew as well. So this is one. This is the second one. This is the, this is the first one I've painted as actually. So yeah, and this is the third one. Uh, I mixed a bit the uh, the crew uh, just to uh, to have something uh, different on all of them uh, as well. Uh, the pattern on the wings is different. This is smaller diamonds. This is a larger one, and this one has 
a red heart uh, on it. Uh, and uh, the crew is different as well. Um, they're positioned uh, in a different way. So this is the Star Weavers and for the Sky Weavers, as you can see, I have uh, differentiated uh, the two units. This is uh, the first unit with uh, diamonds that are going uh, upwards uh, with uh, just one single blue marking on the wings. And uh, yep, this is how they're painted. And every uh, fighter or pilot uh, has one um, leg or one arm at least painted with the diamond pattern. Uh, just to tie everyone with uh, the army. I think this is very important to do. I just, I really didn't want them to be all black uh, and tie the the fighters and the pilots with the rest of the army. So, yep. Oh, I mixed two of them. There you go. And uh, the second, um, the second unit has diamonds that are going uh, this way. If you can see the difference uh, for the two, uh, the two different units, just to to differentiate them and tell them apart. And the same process, uh, every one of them has some sort of diamond pattern on the on one leg, on one arm, uh, etc. So yeah, it's very cool, uh, very cool looking uh, uh, army, very cool looking uh, flyers uh, once you put them all together. Um, all of them also have um, a magnet, so uh, it's easier to uh, to transport because uh, these uh, bases are very tough to uh, to actually um, use because the the, the, the ball point is uh, is not the best invention of uh, GW so all of them have uh, have been modified with uh, a magnet, so it's easier for me to assemble and transport. This is true as well for the sky weavers. There you go. And I really encourage you to do this uh, for your flyers in your Harlequin's army. It's a uh, it's it's a hassle to do uh, when you're. Uh, assembling the kit uh, because you have to buy uh, magnets and assemble and glue them etc but in the end it's way more um, enjoyable to play with them and transport them when uh, everything is magnetized so let's go to uh, the infantry which I have uh, a lot of um, but uh, Yes, let's go. And so here are uh, all the troops that uh, I own at the moment. Uh, obviously, lots of uh, lots of them, lots of different weapons, lots of different uh, pistols, lots of different uh, um, ways and uh, and and poses um, to paint them. Um, I try uh, to um, to paint and assemble them uh, individually without looking at what I already have, what I already um, uh, what I have already done, and so you know all of them is quite different uh, in his own uh, in his own uh, terms. Um, I um, I also have lots of uh, fusion pistols. Uh, because um, that's 
kind of a strategy that I've been looking, uh, that I've been looking for. Um, and, uh, and so I have lots of them with, uh, fusion pistols and, uh, currently I'm trying to, uh, paint more of them with shuriken pistols just to have some kind of variation in the, in the equipment and ways to play them. So, um, you might recognize some of them that I already uh, presented, uh, in the first video. This is the first one that I've painted as well. Um, it's, uh, it's kind of, uh, funny to look at him, um, now that, uh, I have painted so much of them because he's, uh, I mean, I like him, but, um, he is quite different from the one that I paint, that I paint, uh, right now. Uh, for example, this is the first one that I've painted. Um, if the camera will focus. There you go. Uh, and with the same pose, this is kind of one of the last one that I have painted. And as you can see, um, it's kind of, it's just him, but better. <laughs> um, the diamonds are a bit better, more, um, but yeah. I like every one of them. Um, so yeah, all of them are here. Um, some of them are, uh, with swords. And as I said, all of them have, um, a diamond pattern uh, on them. This one has his chest, his leg, and his arm. There's a good with a sword. This one with uh, the embrace, uh, a modified fusion pistol, and more diamond pattern. Um, this one has a shuriken pistol. And the embrace. Um, what do I like as well? This one is cool. With the big head crest. Um, this one as well. The same head crest, but you can see that is a uh, totally different model. This is what I like. And so, um, yeah, lots of work, obviously, but uh, very rewarding to see them uh, all painted. Uh, I try to make a uh, small squad of... Uh, no, five of them, um, with different weapons, different, uh, different ways, uh, to, uh, fly them on the board. There you go. You have kind of, uh, already three squads, uh, of, uh, five fusion pistols. You can add a sixth one, uh, in, uh, in each unit. And, uh, this is all the, uh, this one as well. This is the, uh, the few, the shuriken pistols. And so I have more of them on the way, on the way to, um, to paint. And, uh, I can also do a four man squad and have a fifth one coming with an fusion pistol so that I can have a fourth squad of, uh, of fusions. So this is the army. This is, uh, this is what I've been working on, uh, this past, uh, this past few months. And, uh, I'm really happy to, uh, 
yeah, to have some kind of uh, a new army, a fully fledged army now. Um, might add a few different uh, models and a few different things, but um, I'm really happy with where I where I am at uh, right now. So stay tuned for more updates. Uh, there might be some more, um, and uh, yeah, happy painting.